Hi everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry to those of you that are subscribed to both of my channels because I have uploaded this video to both channels, the Game of Thrones one and the Nail one, just because I want to give everybody the same update. So apologies if you've seen it twice in your sub feed. It's the same video, but you know, I'm not entirely sure how much crossover I have. So uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about something that's happening in my hometown next uh, this weekend um, in Kilkenny and I also want to just give you a health update as well so if you're not interested in the health update you can skip the end of the video and if you're not interested in the um, what's happening in my hometown you can skip the beginning I'll try and have the timestamps down below. All right so let me talk to you a little bit about what's happening this weekend. In Kilkenny we have the Relay for Life Kilkenny and it's in the Kilkenny Rugby Club on July 20th and 21st, that's 2019. And it is all in aid of the Irish Cancer Society. There are so many events going uh, going on. At, I, I have like, I'm looking at it on my phone. There's so much happening this weekend at the Kilkenny Rugby Club. It's a 24 hour, th uh, a 24 hour long event and all um, the money that is raised will go to Irish Cancer Society and there will be cancer charities of all different uh, kinds represented there and people who have lost people to cancer, people who've survived cancer, friends, families, neighbours, cousins, all the whole, the whole thing will be there. And uh, what happens is usually there are little teams. And so my mom and her friends, Catherine and Teresa, hi Catherine and Teresa, um, have, they were in touch with Josephine, who is, um, a, who organises Relay for Life in Kilkenny. She's one of the key organisers there and uh, they created Mrs. Cronall's crew. So if you're in Kilkenny and you're passing by the rugby club, call in and say hello to everybody in the Mrs. Cronall's crew little tent thing. Uh, they have a raffle going on uh, at the weekend. And one of the prizes I know for sure, I'm not sure if there's more than one prize, but I know that the prize I contributed to um, has beautiful handmade candles and it also has a nail art and stamping kit that is um, like that I put together myself and you also if you win that prize you have access to me so you get like your consultation with me so you can learn how to stamp if it's if it's new to you so we can arrange to do that online or in person or whatever it is so uh, it's all for a good cause all the money goes to Irish Cancer Society and last week they had a, a huge event out in my folks house in Kilkenny and they raised almost 5,000 euro so far Far. So thank you so much on behalf of everyone who suffers with cancer and who's affected by cancer. I mean, that's pretty much everyone, right? Unfortunately, it's the great equaliser. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for doing that. That's amazing. All the neighbours and friends and family that called in and uh, to the community radio Kilkenny, they called out and they did a whole day out there. So, and I'm sure if you want, you can follow the relay for Kilkenny on community radio um, all weekend too. I'll make sure to put all all the links down below so you'll find everything but it's going to be a great weekend and hopefully fingers crossed the weather is good for you so that is really a lot for life in Kilkenny this weekend if you're local please go check it out if you're not if you're outside of Kilkenny uh, try and find something um, that is similar. I know Relay for Life is all over Ireland, so there's probably going to be an event close to you um, soon. And even if you can't give up your time or you can't give up any financial kind of support to these things, uh, maybe you can give your time or, uh, you know, something that I've learned in the last six months. There are a lot of people out there that are very isolated in one way or another, or another through cancer and disability and all that kind of thing. Um, and just reach out to those people because loneliness is a horrible, horrible thing. And uh, yeah, I think it's important to reach out to people in their hour of need. And that doesn't cost anyone anything except your time and goodwill. So you can volunteer your time, you can give financially, obviously, and there'll be links down below, uh, not just for Ireland, but other links too. And if there's anything, you know, if you have any suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. And as I said, in all of my health updates so far, just text somebody that you know is going through a hard time. It doesn't have to be cancer. 
and just ask them how they're doing or tell them you're thinking of them. It really does make somebody's day. Trust me, I've had so many of those messages over the last um, number of months and I can't tell you how much they boost you in the middle of a day when you're you're really watching the clock because the days seem really, really long, especially at the moment. But uh, yeah, so if you can, text somebody or let somebody know that you're thinking of them if they're going through a difficult time. And best of luck to everybody in Relay for Life in Kilkenny. I hope to be there with you the next time and uh, hopefully wearing purple for the survivors. So uh, let's talk about my health update. Uh, I made some notes so that I wouldn't forget. Um, I um, had my double mastectomy 17 days ago as you can see I'm all nice and flat and uh, well not totally flat it's like it's a bit wobbly but uh, yeah mainly flat and uh, it went well the mastectomy the surgery went well although they did have to take 21 lymph, lymph nodes which was a bit of a shocker I wasn't expecting to to lose that many and they found cancer in two of the 21 so uh, the cancer that they found, it was clones of the cancer that I'd had originally in the breast, but they were non-aggressive. So they had uh, responded to the chemo. They, were, they weren't growing, which is good news. And they didn't find any cancer in the breast tissue. So that was fantastic news. So the chemo really did work. And uh, now I ha I'm still not technically cancer free. I still have to have um, radiation therapy and perhaps an oral therapy as well. Uh, so I have to look into that. And I also have another surgery ahead of me as well. I have an overectomy ahead of me. So there's still a long process. I have to say, this is harder than chemo. Um, for a lot of people, chemo is the hardest part. For me, the surgery has been the hardest part. Um, the lymph node removal in particular is particularly painful, particularly debilitating. Um, I'm not used to being so dependent on like other people to do things and I am the world's worst patient, very impatient. And uh, in so many ways, I think I got away with it pretty easily in chemo because I didn't lose my hair. I wasn't that sick. Um, I don't know, maybe I, I, people say, say I shouldn't say that, but I don't think I suffered as much as some people do on chemo. I was very, very lucky. But the mastectomy, that is something else completely different. And yeah, <sighs> it's not easy, but I'm gonna get there. I'm determined to uh, get there and I'm doing all my physio and I'm rolling, 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 gently rolling, <laughs> all that kind of thing. And um, just to try and get movement back and because it affects your muscles and all that kind of thing. So obviously the cancer was in one breast, but they removed the other breast as a preventative measure because I did test positive for the BRCA2 gene. And every time I think I'm having a bad day and I'm in bad form, especially in the last 17 days, uh, see the way I'm counting the days, um, I think of my poor grandmother who didn't have access to any of this kind of treatment. She wasn't even given a preventative option. Um, when I saw the scars initially, I like cried like an animal. I like, it was horrific. But over the last couple of weeks, I'm actually growing to like my scars because it means that I'm getting treatment for something that, you know, my grandmother um, many, many years ago didn't get a chance to do. In case you didn't know, my grandmother died at 36 from this disease and so I was 36 when I got it and I made 37 it was my birthday a couple of weeks ago so you know or a couple of last week Gosh, where I, I'm all over the place so yeah so I keep having to remind myself that you know my grandmother didn't have access to that kind of treatment and you know what there are people in the world today that don't have ex access to good treatment when it comes to cancer. So that's why events like Relay for Kilkenny or um, Relay for Life in Kilkenny or reaching out to people and raising awareness and letting people know they're not alone. It's really important, all these small things, um, because yeah, it's not an easy, it's not an easy thing to go through, but I'm grateful that I live in the 21st century and that I had options. So I'm kind of learning to love having a flat chest, I have to say, which is weird. Um, I had the option to go for reconstruction, but I didn't, and I don't regret that at all. I am very happy that I didn't have reconstruction. So uh, yeah, just getting back the movement and all that kind of thing. And I'm hoping to get the go ahead to go to Con uh, Thrones Con UK. I have 
have my tickets I've had my tickets for months um, even before the diagnosis so I'm still hoping to get there in um, August uh, middle uh, 19th of August I think it is and uh, yeah so hopefully I'll be able to go to that and also uh, I I'll be on radiation so I'm not entirely sure but the great thing is Claire Gray is coming here to me. She's coming here to stay for a weekend. So that'll be great um, to have some friends over or to have a friend over and to play with nail polish and argue why Bran is a great king and all that kind of thing. And uh, yes, yeah, so I am really looking forward to uh, Claire visiting. Uh, I still am on a little bit, of, technically on a little bit of a hiatus when it comes to videos, um, but the podcast is going to be back and I'll make sure to link that down below if you want to get involved our next episode is all about hoping and coping hope and cope I think that's what we're going to call it so if you want to get involved and give us some of your ideas around that topic what what you hope for coping with being an adult in this kind of in this crazy world all that kind of thing and um, you can follow the links down below so we'll be back this week um, hopefully with that with a new episode so I'm doing the podcast because that's just about all I can do at the moment I'm still quite limited um, in terms of movement for editing but I do have a few sneaky polish videos that I recorded before the mastectomy so I'll try and get them out all right folks that is it I'm gonna let you go enjoy tomorrow all of you that go to Relay for Life in Kilkenny and thank you so much for all that you do to raise um, awareness of these issues. Thanks so much, everybody, and I will talk to you all again very, very soon. And thank you for all of your support.